and welcome to DAP. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the co-founder of DigitalAccessPass.com. Now DAP is a membership plugin for WordPress. However, you can use DAP to create, manage, organize, and deliver your online courses. The goal of this video is to show you how easy it is to create and deliver your courses using DAP. If you want to use a learning management system, or LMS, for your courses and integrate that with DAP, that's fine too. That will continue to work. But if you want to do it all using just DAP, you can do that too. So first I'm going to take you to the back end and show you how you can set up your course in DAP, what are the things you need to do to set up your course. And then I'll take you to the front end and log in as a user and then show you the entire user experience end to end. So let's get started. Also be sure to subscribe to my podcast for DAP for membership sites called Membership Site Lab. Look for Membership Site Lab, three words in your favorite podcast tab and subscribe. In episode number 25, I talk about what are the benefits of using just DAP for your online courses and the pros and cons of using a LMS versus using just DAP. So be sure to take a listen to that. So I'm going to start by giving you a quick demo of how the user experience is going to be like if you use DAP for your courses from start to finish. So let me give you a quick demo. So say that your users purchase your course and you send them to your table of contents page for that course. Or say that they log into their members area and then they click on access this course and you send them here. So this is the table of content page for the course that I have created. Now this is just for demo purposes. I created this course with four lessons and there are two lessons in module one. There are two lessons in module two. Everything that you see here, all the colors, everything is fully customizable in the back end, the border color, the width of this box that you see here, the color that you see here uh, for the course title, the color that you see here for the module. Uh, all of this stuff is fully customizable in the back end, the font, the font family, the font colors, everything. So the way I have set this up in DAP is I only want to allow users to go to the next lesson after they complete the previous lesson. So you can see here, the start button is disabled for all of these other lessons. They cannot get to it until they complete lesson number one. So I'm going to click on the start button and show you what happens next. All right, so as you can see here, clicking on the start button took me to the lesson one of the course. All right, so this is just a demo course. I have set this up just to show you the whole user experience. And I have these two short codes in each one of my lesson pages. The first one is a progress bar short code. I got this from DAP for this course. And the cool thing is these short codes that you see here, this is the progress bar short code. This is the course outline short code is the exact same for all the lessons in your course. So you just have to grab it once uh, for your course and then you can just edit your lesson pages and insert it in each one of your lesson pages. It's going to be the same for all the lessons in your course, all right? The progress bar short code will allow your users to see what percent of the course they have completed, how much is still left. So course outline short code, I have two of them for the same course, one that I published in my main table of contents page. That's where I send users when they complete purchase. And this one I use in my uh, sidebar of my lesson pages. And this one uh, is just slightly different than the other one, same content. I'm using different colors just so it looks a little bit different and also the width, obviously, it's much less compared to the one uh, that I have on my main table of contents page, but it's the same short code. I have just generated it twice for the same course with a slightly different look and feel. And towards the bottom of each one of my lesson pages, I have another short code. This one is the mark is complete short code. So this one is to make sure that users click on it to confirm that they have completed this current lesson. And only then the next lesson button will show up here that will allow them to proceed to the next lesson. Until then, they cannot get to the next lesson. That's how I have set up my course in the back end. I have said only allow users to proceed to the next lesson after they complete the previous lesson and click on the mark is complete button to indicate that they have completed it. So I'm going to click on it to show you what happens next. All right, so you can see here this message. Great job. You have now completed this lesson. I have configured this message in the back end and I have configured it in such a way that it will show up every time users click on the mark is complete button to complete the lesson. And so this one, whatever message you want, this is fully customizable in the back end, the colors, the font, everything. So you can say whatever you want to say here. For example, if you integrate this with our game of points plugin, and if you want to award users points when they complete each lesson, and if you have set that up in the back end, then here the message could say, great job, you have completed this lesson and you have earned one point by completing this lesson, keep going or something like that. So that's what I did 
for one of my courses in my lab, membership site lab. And I set that up using uh, a LMS called WP Courseware because at that time we didn't have all of these LMS features, all of these course features in DAP, but I no longer need to do this using an external LMS because all of this is part of DAP now. So you can customize this message and say whatever you want to say here when users complete your lesson. And another thing you can do is you can send out an email to your users when they complete each lesson. So on top of uh, displaying the message here, if you also want to send out an email to your users to say great job, you can do that too. And that email message is also fully customizable in the back end. So let me quickly show you where you can set this up. So this is the DAP backend. And when you create your product in DAP, this is the DAP products page. So when you create a product in DAP for your course, so in the notifications tab, you will see there is course complete notification, module complete notification, and lesson complete notification. So under the lesson complete notification, you will see there are two options. Do you want to send out lesson complete email? And if yes, you can say yes here, and you can enter your email content here. This will go out to your users when they complete the lesson in your course. And if you don't want to do this, you can turn it off. So this is the lesson complete message that's displayed on the lesson page that I just showed you. And this is fully customizable. You can see there is an editor here, so you can change the colors, the font. So you can configure whatever message you want to display, and this message will be displayed when users click on the Marcus Complete button on your lesson pages. And I want to quickly show you this as well, the course complete notification. So when users complete all the lessons in your course, and are on the final lesson, last lesson of the course, and they click on the Marcus Complete button, uh, then DAP will display whatever message you have for lesson complete. And also on top of that, DAP will also display the message that you have right here, course complete message. Congrats, you have completed this course. Well done. So here I'm just going to adjust the format. I'm going to increase the font size here. All right, so now I'm going to go back to the front end and uh, continue on with the other lessons in the course and show you what happens next. So the next lesson button that you see here, it'll only open up after users click on the Marcus Complete button to complete the current lesson. All right, so I'm gonna click on next lesson. I am now on lesson number two of this course and same thing here, you can see it says 25% complete. That's because I have completed lesson number one and there are a total of four lessons in this course. So this one tracks how much percent is complete and it's going to show it here. And the same thing, I have my course outline short code right here so users can see all the lessons in the course. And towards the bottom of this lesson, I have the same mark as complete button. So after users complete the lesson, then they can click on this to proceed to the next one. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to click on mark as complete to mark lesson number two as complete. Great job, you have now completed this lesson. I'm going to click on next lesson to move on to lesson number three. So this is lesson number three. And you can see I have the same thing here, the progress bar, table of content, progress bar now shows 50% complete. This is lesson number three. There are a total of four lessons. I have completed two lessons. I'm on lesson number three, which is why it says 50% complete. I'm going to complete this lesson and click on mark as complete. Moving on to the last lesson in this course. All right, this lesson is complete. I'm gonna click on next lesson to move on to the last lesson. I'm here, lesson number four. This is the final lesson in this demo course and and it says 75% complete. This is the last lesson. When I complete this, it will say 100% done. And I'm gonna go down now and click on mark as complete. This is the last lesson. So it should show me two messages. So you can see here, there are two messages it shows because it's the last lesson. It says uh, the lesson complete message. Great job, you have completed the lesson. And it also says, congrats, you have now completed this course. Well done, because this is the course complete message that I had configured in the back end. So this message will show when users complete the entire course. And if you don't want to show this message, it's fine. But if you do, you can fully customize what you want to say, the color, the font, everything in the back end. Now I just want to take you to the back end quickly and show you my setup because it's super simple. And I just want to show you how I set this up in DAP. So number one, you can create your lesson pages in WordPress. There's no restrictions, no limitations. Use WordPress for your lessons. You can use your page builder to design your lessons. However you want it to look, no restrictions. Use whatever template you want, right? And then once you create your lessons, then what you do next is uh, go to DAP and create your course. Now your lessons don't have to be 100% ready. And even if you have a couple of lessons and still working on it, you can still go ahead and set things up in DAP for your course. You don't have to wait until all the lessons are ready. 
All right, so now let me show you how I have set this up. In the products page, you can access products page by clicking on products in this uh, main menu, or you can go to the top menu here and click on uh, manage products or create products to create a new product. Everything is a product in that, whether it's a free product, paid product, one-off product, subscription, online course, everything is a product. So all you have to do is go to the manage products page, click on create new product to add a new product. So I have already added a product, so I'm going to take you directly to that product and show you my settings. So membership site launch made easy, that's the name of the product. I'm going to click on this editor icon here to show you my product setup. So this is the products page. So you can see here there are a few tabs here for the product setup. I'm not going to go over all the product tabs because we have different documentation videos where you can learn how to create a product in that. It's really easy, just follow the steps, just follow the tabs to set up your product. I'm just going to show you the main settings for your online course. There are just a few things that you have to do differently for an online course during the product creation process in DAP. All right, so the general tab, first thing is product categories. So here you can say, is this an online course? If yes, set this to yes. And course structure, you can say modules, and lessons, or you can say just lessons. If you're not going to have any modules, just a simple structure, all lessons, then you can select uh, this option. But if you're going to have modules and lessons under each module, like I did for the course I just showed you, then you can select this option. Course progress, so this is what I was telling you earlier. I have set up my course where users cannot proceed to the next lesson until they complete the previous lesson or the current lesson. So that's what my setting is. So they need to complete uh, each lesson before they move on to the next. I don't want them to skip lessons. So you can select this option, but if you do not want to restrict them, you, if you want to allow them to skip lessons, select do not restrict. And that's it. Billing and access is where you set up your pricing and access information. Notifications is where you can set your emails. So this is what I showed you earlier, course complete, module complete, lesson complete for your online course. If you want to send out an email when they complete the entire course, you can set yes here, and you can enter your course complete email information here. Course complete message I have set here, so when they complete the entire course, they see this message. And similarly, module complete. If you want to send an email when they complete each module, you can do that here. Lesson complete, so this is the one where uh, you can set the lesson complete message. This message will show up when users click on mark is complete button, in your lesson pages and all of these messages, as you can see, we have an editor here so you can fully customize all of these messages. If you want to send an email when they complete each lesson, you can set this to yes and configure your email again. We have this editor here, you can fully customize your email. And that's it, and then the content responder tab, this is where you can create a structure for your course. So you can see here, I have two modules in this course, I have two lessons in each module and it's really easy to add it. Just click on add module to add your module, and after you add the module, then you can just drag the lessons from the left side under the available content onto the module. So just drag and drop it there. So let me show you that. So here, for example, if I want to drag and drop this lesson, I can just drop it there. It will add it to this module. Now this lesson becomes a part of this module. So I'm gonna remove it because I don't want that, but that's how easy it is to add lessons to your module and to create a structure for your course. You can also click on this Add Lessons button to add lessons to your course. Okay, so that's all I have done here. Everything else is the same as all other products in DAB, nothing special. In the last tab, it will tell you how you can generate different short codes. So after the course uh, product setup is complete, you can then generate mark as complete, course progress, and course outline short codes. So you can click on these buttons and it will take you to the mark as complete short code page or if you want to directly get there, then just go to short quotes right here in the main menu, click on short quotes. It will take you to this short quotes page and here you will find all the course short quotes and also the DAP short quotes. In the getting started tab, you'll find our documentation. Then these are the three main short quotes that we have right now. Uh, lesson complete, which is the mark is complete button, uh, course progress bar and course outline. Let me show you the lesson complete short code quickly. So here, button customizer, you can customize the look and feel of this button. We have a customizer right here. Everything that you see here is also click and edit. If you want to change the font colors, you can do that easily. And then the next lesson button shows up when they click on mark as complete. The next lesson button customizer is also here. And after you do that, you can click on generate short code and then it will give you short code for your course. So you can see here, these are all my courses. 
So this is my course membership site launch made easy and this is the short code. So I'm going to copy this and all you have to do is grab the short code for the course and then go to each one of your lesson pages for the course and towards the bottom of the lesson just insert this short code. That's it. It's the same short code for all the lessons uh, in the course. So just grab the short code and insert it in your lesson pages towards the bottom of your lesson pages for the course and that's it. All right. So course progress bar. This is the progress bar short code that I showed you in my lesson pages. So this is the one I already have. So I'm going to click on this edit icon to show you my configuration and select the course name. Do you want to display the course name in the progress bar? If you want to display it, you can say yes there. And everything is click and edit. If you want to change the font colors, all that you can do it. Similarly, the percent complete will be replaced in the front end based on what percent of the course they have completed. So here you can see we have a customizer that will allow you to adjust the template width, alignment, background color of this uh, section. Everything is fully customizable. You can add a shadow effect like you see here. So this is my uh, setting for the progress bar. Now let me take you to the course outline and show you my setting for the course outline. So I'm using it in two places, one for my table of contents page to which I send users after they purchase my course. And I also connect it to my access content button in the members area. This way when they log into the members area, they will find a list of all the products and courses they have purchased from me. And when they click on access content button, uh, I want them to go to the course outline for that specific course. That's what I do for my courses. And let me show you my setting here, membership site launch made easy. I'm going to click on this editor. And here there are several options for display. You can show course name, course description. If you don't want to show the module description, you can turn it off like I have done here. And so all of these options, you can see there is a customizer here. You can fully customize the look and feel, the colors. Everything is fully customizable. And everything that you see here, just click and edit if you want to change uh, the font, the font family, the, the text color. You can do that too. And you can adjust the width as well. So then just generate and save short code. You can create as many short codes as you want for the same course. So like what I did, I have one short code for my table of contents page and I created another short code for my lesson pages because in each one of my lessons I have uh, the short code. So you can generate as many short codes as you want for the same course, each one with a different look and feel for different pages. So this is it. So this is how easy it is to fully create, manage, deliver, and organize your courses using DAP. You don't need an external LMS to do this. You can do it all using just DAP. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can join my Facebook group. It's not for support, but if you have any generic questions about membership sites, about online courses, you're welcome to ask me there. My name is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.